Hello statistics students. In this tutorial, we're going to do questions based on week four topics, which are these the contingency tables and association between variables. So let's begin with our first question. So this is our first question in a college, a charity organization sought donations from various individuals and categorize them as students, staff and research scholars. The following figure shows the contingency table for the groups of individuals and their attitudes towards the donations. Okay, so there are two kinds of attitudes we are looking at. One is willing, the other is unwilling and we have the respective numbers for these. And they are asking which group is more willing to donate. So I think we should be comparing the percentages here. So let me add two more columns, willing percentage and unwilling percentage. So WP, the willing percentage in students is going to be 835 by 900 into 100. So that is essentially 835 by 9 which should come to about 92.8% and that would give us the remaining unwilling percentage would be the remaining 7.2% and in the next case we have 77 and 23 coming to a total of 100 so this is easy. So the staff is 77% inclined and 23% not interested and uh, then this is 110 by 200 which just gives us 55 percent willing and remaining 45 percent unwilling so if you looked at the total as well the total would be 85.2 percent and so the remaining which is 14.8 percent are unwilling okay now the question is which group is more willing to donate and it's pretty clear that 92.8 percent is a maximum in the willing percentages so our answer should be students students are most willing to donate in this case then we have what is the percentage contribution of students in the total positive attitude towards donation. Now this is where we have to be a little bit careful in what we are doing. So the percentage contribution of students in the total positive attitude is not this 92.8 percent. It's in fact 835 as a percentage of 1022 so of the total willing candidates how much percentage is being contributed by students so that would be 835 divided by 1022 into 100 and this comes to about roughly 81.7 percent so they are asking the percentage contribution which means our answer is 81.7. Moving further, what is the percentage of students who are unwilling to donate? This we had already calculated. 7.2 we had taken the approximation over there. It is actually supposed to be I believe 7.11. So yeah, that should be our closest answer. Now we go into slightly more interesting question where the means of the donations from these groups are also given. So the means are given. So student on average has given 100, staff has on average given 340 per staff member and research scholars on average have given 240 rupees per research scholar. So although students are more inclined to donate, they are likely to donate lesser money as we can observe here. Now which group donated more money towards the charity? 
so we now need the actual donations which are supposed to come from these values the number of people who have been willing to donate so 835 77 and 110 that is 835 77 and 110 so what is the total amount of money donated by students that would be the average the mean of their donations into the number of students that donated so that is going to give us rupees 83500 whereas staff is 340 per head into 77 staff members so that is rupees 26180 and lastly we have the research scholars who gave 26000 400 rupees so as you can see although the staff members actually had a high percentage of donation being willing to donate and actually the largest average donation per head simply because their numbers are really small their total contribution is the least in the lot research scholars have actually contributed about 220 rupees more than staff on the whole so which group donated more money towards charity clearly students and then the next question is which group donated more money towards charity per head on average so that would be the staff as we had seen 340 is the maximum that has shown up in the means.